All right, what we're working with here is a 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This has a 5.7 Hemi. This also has a bad fuel pump. This vehicle, after careful study of the paperwork uh, describing the mechanical assembly of this particular vehicle, we've determined that the fuel pump is right underneath of this panel. If you look at your service manuals, you will find that there is a shelf and a dip in the tank. We used an inspection camera right here and it was fed through this electrical port right here in this manner. We were able to see that the fuel pump is right underneath of this panel which is located underneath of the driver's side rear passenger seat. There are other videos on YouTube showing the disassembly of the and removal of this seat. Once you have the seat out and you have the carpet removed and you have your four-wheel drive control unit out of the way, you're free to now start to access this panel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this marker and I'm going to mark off where I'm going to cut and I'm going to use an electric cutting disc to cut this metal out to have access to the pump. Rolling. All right. This pump here, as you can see, is a CarQuest pump. This one here is the original equipment Delphi. This is a far simpler design. This is a far larger pump in here. The pump that's in this one, in the CarQuest, is actually much smaller. It's a very complicated contraption here. Very small pump. It's undersized. It's underpowered. This is sold on under other brand names than CarQuest. I was uh, looking through the computers in a couple of the parts stores, and this picture of this unit here shows up several times. This is from a 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And from what I can tell from the books, the Delphi pump is the original equipment. Don't buy this pump. When you're gonna buy a pump online, you make sure it looks like this and not like this. VDO's pump, Bosch's pump, and Delphi's pump looks like this. All of the junk coming out of China looks like this. Don't buy this turd. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark off the areas where we're gonna cut. This is a guess. This is a spot weld here and here, here and here on this floor. These are the attachments for the seat as well as for uh, the rug. I'm not gonna move these, however, I'm gonna move this area. So we took a marker and we are gonna mark off the parameters of our cut here and here and then here and here and so I'm going to use this angle grinder fitted with a very thin cutting wheel to barely nick into the steel along this shape and remove this panel. I may elect to leave one side still connected so I can fold it down but I'm actually going to screw in a new metal plate over top of this in order to uh, repair this hole in the floor. Okay, what we've done, because there is a curve here that goes right around here, I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but there is a curve here. I didn't want to be quite this close with the hole when I go to close this hole here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the fold. We're going to make the fold portion right here. I can always cut this if I have to. We're going to cut this side, this side, and this side, and peel this up. And so I moved in our, our points this far. If I have to cut it, I will. But it's always better to err on the side of caution. So without further delay, I'm going to go ahead and proceed to cut this. If there is an error, 
we can always remove this to get more room over here. But I'm pretty confident that this is the location of that fill on the top of the tank. All right, we're doing this repair in the middle of nowhere. We have a generator, we have power. Cutter's ready to go. The blade is very thin. We're gonna be making a very shallow cut on this metal. And so let's go ahead and begin. This makes a lot of sparks. It is not, uh, you have to be very, very careful to be shallow with your cuts. Next cut. Let me finish this one up here. It's a little bit. Okay. Next final cut. As you can see, we have bent back the metal here, this metal trap door. And as I predicted with the camera, there is the fuel pump located right underneath of the passenger's butt in the back seat of this Grand Cherokee. There is no need to drop the tank or to go through any of that pain and suffering. You have access right here to the fuel line and to the electrical connector. The ring, located right around here, can be removed and the pump can be drawn right out this trap door. And this is all due to the help of my wonderful PlayStation assistant who happens to be wearing his proper guards and uh, safety equipment. <laughs> all right. I will continue this video after we pull this out and I'll show you the reassembly. Rolling. All right. This pump here, as you can see, is a CarQuest pump. This one here is the original equipment Delphi. This is a far simpler design. This is a far larger pump in here. The pump that's in this one, in the CarQuest, is actually much smaller. It's a very complicated contraption here. Very small pump. It's undersized. It's underpowered. This is sold on under other brand names than CarQuest. I was uh, looking through the computers in a couple of the parts stores, and this picture of this unit here shows up several times. This is from a 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And from what I can tell from the books, the Delphi pump is the original equipment. Don't buy this pump. When you're going to buy a pump online, make sure it looks like this and not like this. VDO's pump 
Bosch's pump and Delphi's pump looks like this. All of the junk coming out of China looks like this. Don't buy this turd. All right, we got our new Delphi pump. And you can see there's the Delphi numbers right there on top. And we've attached our float. We have our pretty green gasket, and which we are going to lay in the groove on top of the tank, like so. The float goes in first. This is a very tight hole when you cut a hole in the floor. The pump will go down inside and be immersed. Just have to watch out because our feeder hose is a bit in the way. Another fuel hose a little bit in the way. In we go, in we go. Now, this doesn't seem quite right, so we're going to pull it back out and we're going to check and see what kind of an error we have here. As you can see on top of this pump, there's a spring assembly here where the top goes up and down. Right. What I didn't count on with this unit being the original equipment, it's so different from the one I pulled out of here that I was thinking that there's something wrong. So when I pulled it out, I realized that those springs are what holds it in place. So right now we're reinserting it, and you gotta make sure this keyway right here is in the proper place because the fuel pickup hose connects to it right here, and then we're ready for reassembly. 